Hey, hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and welcome to this brand new fact finding series for GTA 5 and GTA Online. So basically what this is going to be is me going testing a lot of different things about the game and bringing you guys all the information that you guys need to know. So obviously, you know, I'm, I'm normally one for testing sort, all sorts of things and doing it in a sort of scientific and as robust way as possible so that the findings that I get are actually, you know, you can actually believe them. And that is what I intend to do with this series. So a lot of different things that you guys might want to see, you can let me know in the comments and things like that in each video of the things that you want me to investigate, whether it's car modifications or whatever. Um, and I will do my best to test out all of these things and bring you guys all of the information so that we can know a lot more about the game as we go through. So that's a bit of an introduction for the series, but let's get straight into the first thing in, in this first episode, and that is that cars in the next generation of consoles are slower than their previous generation counterparts, and that is all to do with how they build up the speed in a straight line. So how did I find this out? Well, I first of all downloaded GTA Online last night at 12 o'clock midnight. Um, I had it already pre-ordered on the PS4, and one of the first things I did in GTA Online was boot up a race on the North Loop and that's what you're seeing here on the screen now. And I did that because I knew that the, the Massacro that I was using from the multi-class endurance championship that we'd just done where the video went up yesterday, um, I knew that a sub 5 minute lap time was reasonably straightforward for me to get as long as I made no mistakes. And at worst the lap time that I was going to get would have been a 5 minute 1, 5 minute 2, something like that. So you can imagine my surprise when after the race, the best lap time that I had was actually 5 minutes and 8 seconds long. Now that is a good 8 to 10 seconds per lap slower than what it should have been. So I was quite confused at that point, I thought well why, why has that happened? So what I basically did is got the, the replay of the lap um, and put it side by side with a, a lap from the Multiclass Endurance Championship and I realised that there was a big difference in terms of straight line speed between the cars. Now I'll show you that side by side uh, on, on this video, but I'll also show you some side by sides of the Zentano and a Prairie around uh, Cutting Coroners GP, which is my testing track, to show you that this is affecting all cars in the game. This isn't just a case of them making the, the top speed cap lower, this is actually a full scaling of speed throughout all of the cars in the game, and it seems to affect all of the cars in the same way as well. In terms of their traction around the corners, it's very similar, but it's all about straight line speed. So as you can see uh, on this next screen, you know, the, the new generation is on the left and the old gen is on the right. And I've synced them up so that they hit this next checkpoint that we're about to see at exactly the same time. Now, as we go along this straight, you know, nothing is going to affect how they build up their speed. It's just one long straight. I'm not doing any corners or anything like that. Um, this is basically just from uh, the, the old generation one is from the multi-class endurance championship race. And the new generation is from that first race that I did last night on the game. And as you can see, you know, we've only done a short amount of straight, but the old gen has already got a bit of a gap. And that is just because it has higher straight line speed than on the new generation. So this little corner section I do reasonably similar on both of consoles so there's no reason to assume that that's going to make any difference to how the results that we get here and then on the the as we go up the hill on the old generation it just builds that gap more and more and more um, to the point where it feels like they are you know uh, completely different classes in terms of their straight line speed you know on a straight you wouldn't really stand a chance on the new generation if you were up against an old generation massacre they, they are exactly the same car on exactly the same track driven in exactly the same way doing exactly the same part of the track and they had reacting very differently so as you can see there you know there's a big gap there between what the old generation has managed and that clip that we've just seen on the old generation took 66.0 seconds but on the new generation it took 68.8 seconds so you know a good 2.8 to 3 seconds a difference there just on that clip that we saw so now we move on to the Zentano, which was um, the, the best car from the fully upgraded car series. And the, the lap time on the old generation that you're seeing on the right hand side is actually the exactly the same lap time that you saw in the best fully upgraded car series. And what you're noticing at the moment is that there isn't that big of a difference between new gen and old gen. And that's because through the corners, there isn't that much of a difference. You know, the, the traction capabilities of the cars um, and how they behave around the corners 
does feel very similar and is the, the the traction that they have is the same it's more about the sheer power that the cars had it isn't there on new gen so you know it's already the old generation has already got a bit of a gap at this point but it makes an even bigger gap down this long straight and as i said this is a complete scaling of straight line speed the acceleration on the new gen is slower and the the top speed as well it's not just that they've put a top speed cap on the the game so that you know the new generation and old generation will reach the the top speed cap at the same point um but it's just lower on the new gen it's a complete scaling throughout the entire phase of building up that speed um, and as you can see there the new generation was 2.5 seconds slower than the old generation just on that short lap and again, as I'm, you know, as I mentioned, it works all the way down the the food chain in terms of the cars. So a Prairie is a lot slower than a Zentano, but it has the same things happening to it. If you notice on the old gen, I have to brake a tiny little bit going into the first corner. I don't need to do that on the new gen because I'm going into it at a slower pace. And as you'll see, you know, the old gen just pulls out a little bit of a gap around the corners, and then it's most noticeable in this section and the next bit of straight as well that it, it pulls out a bit more of a gap. So it, it's all about how they build up the speed. It's the, it's a complete scaling of speed, the acceleration, the build up of that that speed throughout the entire phase of uh, going from acceleration to top speed it's all a lot slower on the new gen um, and it's very very noticeable when you are actually getting in those lap times and you put them side by side so it, it's uh, it, it's it, you know it is what it is you know it, it does it mean that uh, things will have changed for the fully upgraded car series maybe maybe not though because it seems like all cars are affected in the same way we just don't know i'm obviously going to have to do a bit more testing on that but you'll obviously have to be a bit more patient as well because that's going to take a bit of time um but yeah it, it, it's very noticeable that th this is a complete scanning of speed um they feel very similar in the corners you know it, it the, the traction seems to be the same but as you can see there you know the lap times are very different um so yeah it seems to be over the course of sort of a, a what every minute it, you add an extra two seconds for new gen that seems to be a rough idea of the differences and this bit is just to show that the the acceleration is different so they they hit that uh, checkpoint at the same time and then they hit this next checkpoint at a different time so if it was just a top speed cap you would assume that they would build up their lap their, the build up the straight line speed at the same point it would just be that the new gen uh, version is sort of slower at that top speed but it isn't you know it, it's a it's a complete scaling of speed rather than just adding an extra bit of top speed cap uh, to the game so it's completely different the way it works and we we have to kind of ask why rockstar have done this you know what what what, what could be the reason now on the older generation of consoles the the pop in and the texture problems that they had were generally a lot worse at high speeds in in the quicker cars um but you know that that isn't really a reason to do this because the the they have more powerful consoles to go for now and also um the, they've slowed down all the slower cars as well so that can't be a reason maybe uh, that maybe the first person uh, can't cope with the higher speeds so they've had to slow it down for that or maybe the the testers that they had couldn't cope with driving a car at such high speeds so they slowed them all down in first person that could be the reason or it could just be a bug you know uh, it, it might just be something that they'll fix later on to be and bring the speeds back to how they were in the old generation of consoles we just don't know at this point all I know is that the cars on the new generation of consoles are slower than the cars on the old generation of consoles. So just keep that in mind when you are doing the same tracks that you might have done on the previous generation, you, your lap times are going to be slower. It may change the, the fastest fully upgraded cars in each class because traction may become a bit more important um, because you know the, the raw power of some of the cars is less effective now. But it is a complete scaling across all cars and all cars seem to be affected in the same way so it, it, it's debatable whether that might actually change so yeah you know th this is the first in this series i wanted to let you guys know about this obviously i'm enjoying the game it looks fantastic as you can see here it's so good um the north loop is amazing on this track on this uh, new generation of consoles but I, I had to let you guys know about this change just so that you, you are kept informed and I will obviously keep you informed if anything changes in terms of them, them fixing this or making the cars quicker 
or the reasons that they've done it or if anything changes with the best cars in each class so you know i'll stay i'll, I'll keep you up to date obviously um but let me know down in the comments whether you think this has been a good change or not do you approve of this change or has it been something that you don't like um and also let me know in the comments the kind of things that you want me to uh, to investigate for this series you know it, whether it's tires different tires different body modifications Anything that you can think of that you want to know about the game, whether it's racing or not, let me know and I'm going to basically create a big list and sort of work through them throughout the course of the, the next weeks and months and uh, make us all just a little bit more knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about the game. So thanks a lot for watching everyone, I really appreciate it, we'll be uh, doing a lot more G next gen content coming soon, but for now I'll just leave you to mull over the uh, the changes that we've seen here. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.